Hey guys, coming up in this video, I'll be giving you my 10 tips for writing great copy and then reviewing one of the most beautiful ads I think has ever been written. Enjoy. David Edworthy. David Edworthy. David Edworthy. Dave's a beast, man. And then I was flirting with David all night, but it was very one-sided. What's incredible with Dave is that, you know, he was part of a movement. Please welcome David Edworthy. So writing great copy takes talent. Yes, and we'll be getting into that. But I believe that it also takes time. And I think that this is why so much of today's advertising is just wallpaper. I remember once reading that it's only once your traffic lady has gone blue in the face and your art director has started drinking that you should consider starting your writing. And only then consider it, but only for a moment. We need to fight for time. I found this quote from Mark Twain, and I think he sums it up beautifully. He says, I apologize for writing a long letter. I didn't have time to write a short one. So I think that this is one of the biggest problems with digital advertising. In the digital space, it's almost more important that you have said something than if you have something to say. I mean, we all know people who do this in meetings. Why do we think it's okay to do it to our consumers? With that in mind, here are my top 10 tips for writing copy. Number one, your copy should be rewarding. Remember, your ad has started off or started out as an interruption into somebody's day. From there on, it needs to be worthwhile. Your copy should inspire, motivate, lift people up, enlighten them, make them think, draw people in, make them laugh, move people. Advertising is a form of entertainment. Number two, use adjectives sparingly. Yes, you are trying to convince someone to buy something, but don't sound like you are. Lee Clow, who is one of the most famous creative directors in the world, says that you should put down what you absolutely have to and then stop. By the way, Lee Clow's Beard, a fantastic book on advertising, probably everything that you'll ever need to know. I'll drop in the link below. Please click on it if you want to get it. It is absolute genius. You can also follow him on Lee Clow's Beard on Twitter. Number three, punctuation matters. Terry Pratchett, in his book, The Masquerade, says that multiple exclamation marks are a sure sign of a diseased mind. The basic idea is that a person's sanity is inversely proportional to the amount of exclamation marks that they use. And guys, in an ellipsis, there's only three dots. No more, no less. Number four, say one thing. Single-minded propositions don't have the word and in them. Again, Lee Clow, check him out. Number five, tickle their intellect. Consumers are not as dumb as some people might think they are. They are not the lowest common denominator. In fact, Lee Clow says, consumers never complain about ads being too smart. Number six, stick to the rules. Unless you have a very, very good reason for breaking them. Sure, Shakespeare introduced 1,700 words into the English dictionary, but he was Shakespeare. Number seven, never repeat yourself. If you write well, you won't have to. Number eight, find your voice. Yes, you are writing on behalf of a brand. And if you're good, you're gonna be writing on behalf of lots of brands, so you may need to tweak that voice. But good copy is not sterile. There's a person behind it, as there should be. Number nine, entice people. Leave people wanting more. That is the best call to action you could hope for. Number 10, refer to number nine. For today's review, I'm going to be looking at one of Hunter Scaris's ads. It's one of the most beautiful I've ever seen. I hope you enjoy it. I inhale the history rich redness, the truffled forest floor. There are stomach butterflies of something unknown and also old. Hints of berry and sun. And it's like I'm napping in a linen hammock. In the dark liquid, I find crisp snow and the warmth of a fire. I sip fruit and spice and the lip gloss of my very first kiss. Old circles the new. I think of hot berry pie, a rowdy family lunch. With a mouthful of rolling mist, I travel to new places. 
I am pushing my way through smooth red silk, and as I burst out on the other side, I am surrounded by laughing faces. And we're all watching the sun dissolve. There's always a story in Niederberg. Absolutely breathtaking. This is one of those ads that make you want to go back to the drawing board on anything you've ever worked on before and push yourself more. These are the reasons why I love it. The writing. The creative team that worked on this ad are one of the most awarded creatives in South Africa, if not the world. Jenny Glover and Brett Singer. Search for them and you'll see what I mean. If you're familiar with Jenny's work, you'll see how she actually pulls her tone of voice throughout the craft of the copy. Out of all the copywriters that I've ever seen, Jenny has a way of drawing you in and painting the most vivid pictures without it sounding too contrived or too forced or too addy or like it's trying too hard. Any rules that were broken were thought out, understood and done in pursuit of something beautiful. Her copy is a true work of art. Art direction. In terms of the job that was done here, I couldn't think of a more apt way of bringing the writing alive. It is beautiful. The pacing of each shot, the use of speed as they slow down and speed up certain scenes, even using reverse shots to make it sometimes seem like the ad is almost breathing. The journey into the wine itself, the intricate use of cuts, the way that it draws you in and actually makes you feel like you can taste, feel and smell each scene. Every scene adds texture and plays with nostalgic references that you almost feel are your own. Sound design. Again, there isn't a way to actually improve on this. It's not just that every detail is captured, but it's almost that because there are so many nuances in the sound design, it highlights the complexity of the wine itself. The creaking of the bark, the sound of the crickets, the breath out right at the beginning that almost tells you to take a moment. Direction. Bruno Bossi from Carbon Films was the director on the ad and he had the unenviable job of trying to balance this outstanding copy, this intricate art direction, this refined sound design and almost walk a tightrope in balancing it all together. He did an amazing job. Finally, let's take a look at the idea. So Niederberg is one of South Africa's best selling wines and we have some of the best wines in the world. It stands to reason then that every sip is complex and has a depth to it that is more than just a sip. Every sip is a story and that's the idea, the human truth, pure and simple. Guys, if you are enjoying these insights, please can you hit subscribe. Uh, the thumbs up button will let the YouTube algorithm know that I'm alive. The bell will keep you up to date with any videos that are coming. In my next video, I'll be talking about my insights onto pitches. I've had the privilege of working and pitching for a lot of different agencies. I have 99 problems but a pitch ain't one. Um, until next time, cheers.